Hello there Aries, welcome to your reading. So this reading is about all your loved ones in spirit and the ones that you want to connect with. Um, as you can see I have four different decks here. Talking to Heaven, deck of cards, and spirit messages and guidance. Answers from the angels and then fortune tarot cards. So these are four answer deck of cards here for you for the end. I have premeditated on your cards and I'm going to get right into reading for you. Okay. First one we have is if I had known then what I know now, I would live differently. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to any guilt. Tears cleanse the soul. But um, a message come through something about dynamic. And dignity. And culture. Believe in yourself, you can do it. I'm also getting someone here that's a smoker that is around you. you had a lot of respect here for them I have become one of your guides got the name Carrie coming through and Elaine and Patty and Pam Remember me by the happy memories we created. Got the name Cameron. Don't be afraid. Also got um, traveling overseas here as well. I am here helping you. with the rest of the family although you may not understand it now but everything do happen for a reason got the name Belinda coming through never alone and I am not dead okay with the name Kathleen coming through as well Byron um, a surname I think um, Clancy and um, engage or engage Someone's come through mentioning about the car failure here as well. In um, an accidental car death. Got the name Cariad. 
Clint and Clifton. Terence, Molly, First card you have that come up for you then is if I hadn't known them what I know now, I would have lived differently. Um, of course I have regrets, but now I also realise that these are merely opportunities to grow. We never stop learning here or on earth. My deepest wish is from my words to you to learn to treat another person. As you would yourself let go of the old earthly pattern of judgment and fear and make the effort to bring love to everything and everyone who walks upon your path the way when you come here you will have no room for regrets i promise i have become one of your guides As one of your spirit guides, my role is simply to love you. All of the love that you receive from your many angels and guides is your shield that safeguards you in the face of stress and fear. Your collective love is healing, guiding and protective. And know that you can call upon me or any of your angels or guides for assistance or comfort. We're always here for you. I am with the rest of the family. Family relationships are quite different here in that there's pure love and not ego competition. So all of the annoying habits have dropped away and in our memories of our human quirks are handled with a compassionate sense of humour. Everyone is in a constant good mood and no one is in a rush. Defences have all washed away and our hearts are all open to one another from a relationship perspective. This is truly heaven. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. I was also able to see the thoughts you created and carried with you in your mind. We are pure energy vibrations of light. Please know that your thoughts of guilt and worry block our light. They don't serve us either of us well and create unnecessary debris. Know that I am happy and that a soul can never be harmed. Remember me by happy memories we created. Keep my memory alive by thinking of me at our most joyful times. When something stirs a pleasant memory, talk to me about this. And know that I will hear you and share the sentimental moment with you. Although you may not understand it now, but everything happens for a reason. I now see that everything in this universe is mathematically precise. There are no accidents. At some level, your soul knew that I would leave you before you did. We've both been preparing for this transition since the beginning of our relationship. I am grateful for all the beautiful moments we shared together, along with the lessons I learned from difficult times. It is divinely perfect. Tears cleanse the soul. Tears are a way to wash your soul of impurities, such as fear and worries. It's a healthy mean of releasing painful feelings, so I'm very proud of you for allowing yourself to cry. I know that it is difficult and that you want the pain to end, and it will, I promise. Just know that your heart heals faster as you allow it to experience all of these feelings. Don't try to stay composed or hold back tears. Cry if and when you need to. People will understand, and if they don't, then this says more about them than it does about you. Because God gave us the ability to shed tears for a healing reason and it takes a strong person to cry. 
I don't be afraid. Although you can't be in my physical presence any longer, you definitely can rely on my spiritual presence, which in many ways is much more powerful than when my soul was limited by my body. My love for you has increased now that I'm no longer restricted or distracted by my physical demands. And with my increased love for you, I'm able to help you even more. You are never alone. angels and guides including me who accompany you or your heavenly entourage of loving supporters you like everyone have access to heaven's help by acknowledging and attuning to this higher dimension meditation music nature walks creativity and other gentle actions help you connect with us consciously we are here with you believe in yourself you can do it so I'm urging you to go forward with all of your heartfelt dreams and leave nothing to chance. I believe in because I believe and love you, but also because I can see that nothing is stopping you unless you believe it is. I will be with you every step of the way. I am here helping you. Too many times during my earthly life, I acted selfishly out of the misguided belief that there wasn't enough of this or that to go around. I competed with others, including you, to get my ego and physical needs met. Now that I'm here, I realise what a colossal waste of time and energy that was. So I'm balancing out my old selfish ways with my new and improved energies that are completely focused upon selfless giving. When you accept my gifts, you allow me to accomplish this, and you therefore are giving back to me as I grow and learn. I am not dead. I now see that I have never had anything to fear. There is no death, and nothing bad can ever happen to anyone in the spiritual truth. Of course, it's important to be smart and careful, and always follow your guidance, but please don't forsake God. Uh, forsake joy, sorry, because of fears, because there's truly nothing to fear. Okay, let's see what other messages we have for you then. grandfather figures coming in here okay so we have embrace the moment embrace this day this very moment think positively today and repel those negative thoughts try not to judge yourself or others this may be harder than you think what is actually happening is that you're changing your energy Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you, something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It is a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. Oh, 
hope your loved ones in spirit world know when to reach out if they see that you are at a low point, whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life. There is always hope. If uh, someone that have currently got a topic while reading this, then there is a um, specific message here for you. Or a dental treatment. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and how you treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. and not alone so we are here for you we never left through all the sadness and loneliness however you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you we are your family friends and guides we never walk alone we walk right beside you so the name philip comes with you for some of you also Ingrid. Okay, that's the only part that want to come up for you. Now I want you to ask some questions um, and I'm going to tell you the answers to your questions so it can be a couple of questions. Feel free. Listen to your intuition. We then have romance. you we have improving health unlikely communicate clearly So we have big happy changes coming your way. And that's that. Let's see what the fortune telling cards has for you then. Answers. Aries. Okay, so you have first card which is you shall not and you have in no way you have it could be 
look like yes no go away absolutely No. By all means, try again. You bet. What do you think? And that's it. Okay, then, Aries, so that is your reading. I hope you all resonate to some extent. If so, Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to see more of my videos, then feel free to subscribe. And until next time, take care.